Hey everyone, welcome to Pathology. So today, or tonight, we are going to Kroger. So it's Wednesday night. Wednesdays are very long days for me, but I thought I would make a vlog of me going to the downtown Kroger, uh, the Kroger in downtown Indy, the main one that I would go to. Uh, it's closer to the Circle, closer to Mass Ave. So we're going to that one. Um, it's a, it's, I don't really go there that often, mainly because, uh, it's, it, the parking is really inconvenient. If you go there when it's busy, you have to drive around in a circle for a few, like maybe like 10 minutes sometimes, but you can park on the road, I guess, if you wanted to, but then you got to take your groceries or whatever from inside to the road that's behind the building. So anyways, I'm going to the Kroger tonight and we're just gonna see what they got. Sometimes they have cool stuff there that it's maybe newer products that are not at other Kroger's. I don't know, it varies, it varies. So we're going there tonight and I gotta get some stuff for tomorrow for dinner and lunch. So that's what we're doing. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good week. Tomorrow is Thursday. This week is going by fast. So I'm very, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Well, I'm going to Kroger right now. Hey everyone, so I'm here at the Kroger. I'll show you the some of the parking lot. So here is the parking lot. It's a circle. Not that this video represents fully what it looks like, but it's just a circle. And then above us up here is uh, some apartments, apartment parking. So there's only this little parking area to park at. Um, and a lot of people shop here. Uh, I'll keep this on. So I'm, I'm about to go inside. Um, I saw a lot of policemen out. Granted, it is, you know, inauguration day. So who knows what's happening. And yeah, I so I was driving by some of the monuments and some of the buildings that were lit up and I, I didn't film it, but I was just thinking, man, I, it's so beautiful. I always forget that that stuff is there. I've, I've made some films. I think when I went to the monument at some point for the lighting of the tree on and during Vlogmas, I filmed some of the downtown, but yeah, I haven't driven downtown at night in a very long time. So it was very beautiful, very, uh, very pretty city at night. Okay, so I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna grab some uh, food for the week or just some stuff that I need. We got a lot of stuff anyways, but I'm gonna go get that. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, yesterday, we, Emily and I had some tort tortilla soup, chicken tortilla soup from Costco. It was super good. So that's what we had recently. And now I wanna make some more soup. So I need some celery uh, and I don't have any celery. So I'm gonna go get that. And that's about all. So, okay, I'll be right back. So I'm walking into the Kroger. Here is the entrance. This place is always kind of uh, sketchy, so. But here's the entrance. There's gonna be a cop up here, so, so I'm gonna turn it off before I go in. But here it is, and then there's the apartment area. So here's the inside of the Kroger. There's the veggie aisle, there's the Starbucks, and right there's the entrance, two entrances. And it does not, uh, it stinks. It stinks really bad in here. Granted, a lot of people come in here, um, but it smells like uh, something died in this Kroger. But there's lots of stuff. There's cake. Who doesn't like cake or some sort of sweet from the bakery? Yeah. But this is the inside of the Kroger part of it. They got a pretty big cheese selection here. The cheese, every, every place has cheese. Oh, you wanna know my favorite salsa? I might've showed this before. This, oh, restaurant style pace, restaurant style, my favorite. I like it so much. Here's the coffee aisle. 
Last time I was here, they sold some White Castle coffee. I don't know if they sell it anymore. The reason I want to show it is because uh, on the bag, on the bag of the White Castle coffee, they had a cancer warning label on it and I just found it so interesting. So I wanted to show that, but I don't think they have it right now. If you're, I think they sell it. White Castle coffee is sold sometimes in different places, especially near Chicago. So they had it here. We had it when we were in Bourbon A. It's not good coffee, it's awful. I mean, it's horrible, but they, they have a cancer warning on it. So I found that interesting. I think it's because it's, I guess, maybe it's made in the state of California or packed there. And because it's burnt, technically, it does have carcinogenics in it, from my understanding. So, but maybe all coffee has that. I don't know, does Folgers say that? I don't think it does. No, I don't know. Maybe certain brands, maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's packed in uh, California or maybe it's not, I have no idea. Or maybe it was made in Canada. So, okay, well, moving on from that. Here is the frozen aisle and the uh, dairy aisle. We got Krispy Kremes. I love me some Krispy Kremes. They're so good. But here's the frozen aisle. It's honestly uh, some of the longest frozen section of any store I've been in. This is really long. I mean, I've been into some places like M Mariano's that could compete, but this is a lot of freezers all, all piled together. We're still going. Is Walmart this big? I don't think it is. Well, maybe, maybe Costco is, I don't know. I just feel like this is really long. They're not necessarily big. Then you got these. So this is where the frozen pizzas are. I just, so I just love going to the grocery store. When I lived in Bourbon A, I would go to uh, the grocery store at night often because it was so easy and it was a place to get, to get out. So yeah, there's somewhere to go. But here is the frozen aisle. Are you a raspberry pie person or a apple pie person? Razzleberry or cherry. Emily likes cherry. A lot of my family likes raspberry pie. I like apple pie. If you're still watching this, comment down below, pie. All pie is good pie for the most, for the most part, so. Then here's the, here's the pizza aisle. Sometimes, sometimes we do get some different pizzas that haven't, have not necessarily come out, but I doubt we have in the past few months. You know, someone, someone asked me, have I had uh, pizza with honey? And Kroger used to have a pizza with honey on it that was sold here. So I don't know if it's still here. I don't think it is. It was a, it was one of those quick new product placements that being offered. So here's the deal. I don't make many of these Bertolis or these frozen foods, but the Bertoli chicken Parmesan is so good. Well, I think, I think the chicken in the chicken Parmesan, if I could just get chicken nuggets like that I would I would buy them they're so good they're so flavorful and maybe it's just because they're super salty I don't know so I think this is the corporate for the smell I don't know it just smells extra bad specifically over here yeah it's just the uh, the meat section the seafood I don't know, I can't get it under control. So, whatever. I guess it doesn't stop people from coming here. Hey everyone, so I'm back from Kroger. I'm still in the parking lot. Um, there's just 
there were a bunch of homeless people sleeping outside of the Kroger entrance, like in the hallway inside Kroger. And I didn't want to film them. I didn't want to make them mad or anything. So, but you know, that was just a, uh, I think it's just, unfortunately, the reality for, you know, what we live in. And I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to, uh, there's a dude staring at me. I'm very grateful to be able to have groceries, have food, have shelter. You know, I feel bad uh, for those in that, in that situation. And, you know, you only you only can do so much. There's there's so much that goes along with homelessness. You know, mental health is a huge part of it. And their envi- the environment that they grew up in as a child or I think a lot of it is probably just more of mental health and which is also probably drugs as well includes drugs. So yeah, you know, I am grateful and for what I have. And I'm also just saddened by, you know, when I see them and I wish I could do more and I wish, you know, we didn't live in a society that allowed that to happen. So yeah, you know, I wish we could take better care of them. You know, you only can do so much and you only can do so much. Unfortunately, with someone who's not, mentally all there who's also on drugs you know i mean get great you're sleeping in kroger so it's it's just hard but going in in general going into kroger was pretty good i got what i needed i got some frozen uh vegetables i got some celery i got some i got some jello i'm not going to show you that I, I just got some jello i'm excited for that i haven't had jello in a very long time um, last year I was very sick and I ate a lot of jello and I haven't had it since. So yeah, but I'm looking forward to it later tonight and now I'm going to go home. So if you watch yesterday's, uh, Tuesday tea talk, you could see that Emily and I talked about many things. It was very fun. Very interesting. Uh, she talked about, uh, bling empire I've, you know, yeah, it seems very interesting, very good. Um, I've watched a little bit of it, not too much. Emily mainly has been watching that, and then she's been watching The Bachelor. Uh, Today, oh, I guess I'm just going over what I did today. So we watched some bling. We uh, made dinner in general. Uh, It was a very busy day for me, which is why I'm doing this vlog at night at Kroger. So, but it was very busy. Had a lot of, had a lot of meetings, um, so generally my Wednesdays have a bunch of meetings and then a bunch of work I have to do throughout the day. So, but I'm glad, I'm glad I got it done and Emily uh, has stayed home today. So that was good too. So I think she'll go back tomorrow, maybe, I'm not sure. So that's all. Well, I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to end this vlog here so I can get it uploaded. I hope you got a little bit of a taste of the Kroger in downtown Indy. This is one of maybe three or four. This is the main one that I would assume most uh, people come to. A lot of college students come here. And then a lot of people that live in the building up here. And then just people in this general area, which a lot of people live in this area. So, um, yeah. So, that's who comes here. Sorry, there's just a, a guy like five feet away from me staring at me um okay i'm going to end it here so i can just leave um well i hope you have a great night if no one's told you this today you are loved and this world is a better place because you are here i'll see you tomorrow bye